It was Friday evening. The Geralds enjoying a night in when they heard someone at the front door. There's something in the mailbox. So he pulls it out, brings it in, and says, Dear bonus neighbor. So my mother and brother, being the sighted ones, pull it out and start reading it. We've won the Grinch Award. The Grinch Award for not having Christmas lights put up. The letter goes on to say they have disappointed all in the community, implying they must have been busy on devices and to do better next time. The lights are inexpensive and can be purchased secondhand. You know, talk about not knowing what a situation is before acting on it. Um, but they're welcome to come put Christmas lights up for me, right? If they don't mind paying the power bill in January, <laughs> right? Um, because I, I simply am not able to do that. It's just not possible for my family. Ray Gerald actually needs those devices. She's visually impaired. Her brother is autistic and mother is a single parent. Recently getting notice their rent will be increased. Hundreds of dollars in the new year. None of us are able to get up there. We don't even own the ladder to get up there. And it's quite frankly too expensive for the electricity, the lights, etc. They aren't the only ones to be shamed. Many others coming forward on a community page, including Linda Berg. She's dealing with expenses from just moving in and she's a student, so money is tight this Christmas. I was like, this has got to be a joke. <laughs> and I had no idea if I should be angry or if I should laugh about it, but then that's when I came up with the idea of the sign. But Berg decided to have a little fun with the situation, owning the title of Grinch with the help of her dog, Dolce. The recipients say even though they understand the writer may have had intentions to inspire, they went about it all the wrong way. It's not okay to hurt people like that. Um, there's a lot of people suffering at Christmas right now, so I would like them to think about that. Gabby Rios, Global News.